I'm coming back. I'm coming back for you. And I'll have a way to kill you. It started like any other mission. People have been going missing. So I was going to find them. And I was going to grievously injure whatever had taken them. After escaping prison, after all the dead ends looking for Zodiac, it seemed like a welcome return to the norm. It didn't require much detective work. All three people had gone missing from the same place. The sixth floor of an old apartment building. Nothing weird about the place. No murders, no cults, no dimensional rifts. Except for the fact that looking at the blueprints, the building only should have had five floors. The sixth floor was different. It was a maze. A labyrinth. Mazes have a purpose. To keep people away from something. Or to keep people in. This was the ladder. It was a trap, but not a trap meant to kill, or at least not quickly. There was air, water, shelter, but no food, because it wanted me weak, not dead. No food, just the halls, the endless corridors. That was when I knew, when I understood its purpose. It wasn't just a trap, it wasn't just a maze. It was alive. Did it want to eat me? Was it some sort of aggressive mimic predator? I knew it wanted something. Because anything that lives, wants. I caught glimpses of the others from time to time. But try as I might, I could never catch up to them. I think the sixth floor touched their minds. Made them a part of it. Because that's how I got out. When I was weak enough, exhausted enough, stretched to the limit of my mental and physical endurance. That's when I tried to touch mine. But my mind is not to be touched, any more than a plutonium core is. And that was when I made it scream. It vomited me out like I was poisoned food, which I suppose I was. I was in there for four days. I had thought something might be wrong. I apologize if I caused you any problems with the Avengers, Dr. Sturman. Uh, no, no, no need. I didn't report your missing sessions. I assumed you had business, like when you were in prison. You didn't? That comes as a surprise. Reese told me that the Black Panther had gotten in touch with her about my disappearance. I assumed you had told them. She can't stop going on about talking to a real superhero. It would appear the Avengers know more about your whereabouts than they let on. Mark, are you sure that you trust Reese? Or Tigra? Even this soldier you said he was ex-Hydra? After what Zodiac did to you? Betraying your trust? I trust all of them, Dr. Sturman. Reese, Tigra, soldier. We're the same. We've done bad things, or have had bad things done to us, or both. That's why I opened the Midnight Mission. To protect people, and to protect people from what they might become. I have a question for you, Mark. And I think you may not like it. Do you really think you can? Your Midnight Mission is gone. Your superhero antics may have saved some people. But haven't they also brought more violence into the neighborhood you claim to be helping? Mark, is being a superhero really something you should be doing? Who, who is that this time? Hello, Wong. I need a favor. A favor? You owe me one. Remember when I joined your Las Vegas devil-killing death squad? Midnight Suns. But then after that, if I remember correctly, you assaulted Stephen Strange and stole his power. Fine. So I'll owe you one. Ah, yeah. What do you need, Mr. Spectre? Call it a question of esoteric real estate. You're going back in. I have to. Those people are still inside. The difference is, this time I know what I'm dealing with. And if you don't come back this time? Then I guess you'll have to find a new job. Speaking of which, how are you paying me still? 
I thought Zodiac's guy got rid of all your money. Don't worry about it. <sighs> You're coming back, right? I always come back. Hello again. I know you don't like me. Don't like what I can do to you when you try to touch my brain. But you have to follow your nature, don't you? You don't like to let people out. But you can't help but let people in. I know what you are. The House of Shadows. A living structure from beyond space and time. You mix it up with Doctor Strange and his little friends a few times. They banished you over and over again. But here you are. Last time I was here, I told you I was going to kill you. I don't have any magic powers. I can't banish you like Strange or his pals. So I brought enough thermobaric explosions to level this building. But the thing is, I think I understand you now. Because you and me, we're the same. We just keep coming back, whether or not anyone wants us to. I thought you were a maze at first. But that's not right. You're a house. And a house wants to be lived in, even if it's weird and alien and unwelcome. I know what it's like not to fit in. Or to be hated. To be unwanted. I have an offer for you. Let these people go. And come with me. You and I, we keep coming back. And we both need purpose. And I can offer you the same thing that keeps me going. A mission. I don't understand what we're waiting for. Soldier, do you understand what we're waiting for? I get told to wait, I wait. Patience, children. What the? There it is. Reese, soldier, welcome to the team, the House of Shadows. Or rather, the Midnight Mission. We're back in business. So let's get to work. <laughs>